You might have seen this as a 10 News alert on your phone today. A mother and her child hit by a car. The mother is dead. The little girl is in critical condition. They were crossing Bayshore Boulevard in South Tampa today. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser shows you what police say might have caused that crash and why people who live in the area say it was only a matter of time. I heard the screech and heard the cars hit. Jack Barris says even from inside his apartment on the 16th floor, he could hear the impact. Ran downstairs and saw the haunting images. A mother and her two-year-old daughter struck along Bayshore Boulevard. I never want to see anything like that. And then you see the yellow tape and carrying a baby, you know, running a baby to an ambulance. Just crazy stuff you don't want to see. Just before noon, witnesses say the victim was trying to get across the road near Knights Avenue when two cars came speeding toward her in the northbound lanes. Investigators say the young driver of the black Mustang closest to the sidewalk struck the victims. The gold-colored Nissan also driven by what appeared to be a teenager speeding, possibly racing. We're, we're investigating that, yeah. That's definitely something we're looking at. Parents of the two young drivers were there to console their kids. Clearly shaken and upset, neither left the scene. Police questioning both for hours. There is no crosswalk anywhere along this stretch of Bayshore Boulevard. No bike lane on the southbound side either. Watch for a gap and take off. Residents like Frank Beatty say that sometimes leaves him and his dog Sadie scrambling to get across Bayshore. You know, thinking I had plenty of room and something was coming faster than I thought. Others who use the popular roadway say the speed limit might be 40, but that few drivers stick to it. Going way past speed limit. I actually don't want to take the bike lane because I'm um, afraid of being hit because cars get really close to bike lane. That's an age-old problem. When we come out, people slow down. When we leave, sometimes they speed up. There's been talk of lowering the speed limit even further along Bayshore Boulevard, possibly reducing the number of lanes. Ideas likely to get more traction after such a tragic loss. In Tampa, Eric Lasser, 10 News. It really is such a tragic story that it's happened a very today. Dangerous stretch right along. It absolutely is. And that speed limit along that stretch of Bayshore Boulevard, by the way, is 40 miles an hour. But people who live in that area say that they regularly see people driving much faster than that. And we'll keep you updated on the condition of the child and the investigation into the crash right there on our website at WTSP.com and the free 10 News app.